It is time for us now to look at authentication with Superbase. Right now, we've got two tables, clients and orders, and we've got row level security policies written. However, later in our application, we would like to have some kind of authentication system that allows us to log in or log out from our session. Well, with Superbase, it's totally possible to create an authentication system. So when you click here on authentication, you arrive on this dashboard and on this table. And here we see that we've got a list of users with email, phone, provider, created, last signing, user ID. All right. So here our table is totally empty. Up there, we've got reload button and also invite. And if I click on invite here, I have a pop-up and this pop-up is showing to me an input with a user email. So if I'm putting Guillaume88, for instance, at yopmail.com and I click on invite user, Superbase will send an email to invite this user to join. And while this user will click on the button to join, what he will get is just here uh, um, a status of waiting for verification. So as we can see, the user here has been created. So we don't need actually in Superbase to create a table user here. I mean, you could do it for further information about the user and there is a template actually called user management, a, a, a SQL uh, script template that is creating a profile data table to put more information. But basically, uh, at first, uh, Superbase is providing to us this here, this list of users. So right now, uh, we should go on this email and look at what Superbase sent to us. All right, I'm on the email and here we can see that I have an invitation and I have a button that is click the invite. However, it says that I need to actually redirect to a localhost 3000 to validate my user. That's what we're going to do. Actually, we will use a template, a view application to display our authentication system. So the user will receive this email. We click there and it will be redirected to localhost 3000. However, when it will be on production, we will have to change this URL because right now we would like that this email uh, goes to uh, the production URL, not localhost. Well, we can do it here by clicking on URL configuration. So you got the seat URL uh, redirection, uh, of course, but you got here the seat URL that uh, will be provided directly into the email. Now, Superbase give us the opportunity to edit the email template on several cases. And if we click here on invite user, we can see that we've got the email template down there. We've got several other options. However, I will come back to this later on another listen. On our application, we will give the uh, possibility to log in with your email. And here on providers, we can see that we've got the email provided. However, we got several other options that allows us to give the possibility to the user to log in with other providers such as Google. So when I click on Google, we can see here that I have to provide a client ID and a client secret, and I can click up there on Google Enable. I'm not going to show you how to connect with all those providers, but basically you have to go on the documentation of every of them and create an app on the developer side to get the keys relative to the connection by those providers. So right now we've got this email. That's good. Now we would like to have a front-end application where we could actually create a connection. I have created for you a Vue.js free application with an authentication system in order to use Superbase. I didn't show you how to code it because on my channel, there is already a video to code actually the authentication system from a Vue.js application to Superbase. I also have a video about this with Next.js. You can go check it out. But for now, we are going to work with this application. So right now I got a login here form and we can see up there that uh, I, if I change the URL and I go on any other route, I will never move from the main page. So find the uh, repository into the description. And once you've cloned it, you arrive in here. And so it's a basic Vue.js free application with Tailwind CSS. We have our Superbase client here that is coming from the Superbase GS SDK. And again, if you want more information about Hoth, you can go on Superbase doc 
on Hoth. Everything is explained there to work with authentication. Me, I did the whole work just for you, so it will be faster. Need your credentials to access to your Superbase project. You can go down there on project settings. You click on API. And here you got your key, your uh, actually your secret key. And down there you got the service wall that allow you actually to do everything. So be safe, take this one for the user. And the URL is up there. So remember, if I go on here on the API docs, I can go to authentication up there. And I have the keys that I need, or I have the elements that I need to set up the, the authentication itself. Okay, but if I click on user management here, we can see that we've got data uh, uh, superbase auth dot sign up, and we can use actually we can use those um, elements to log in. So we can see also, which is cool, is that we can log in with magic link via email. This is exactly what we did before. We send an email, and there is a magic link. We don't need any password and we can log in just by email. So what I did here is just to bind my values, email and password to a model. And I have a function login and it's really simple actually. I'm calling superbase.hoth.signup. Superbase, it's the client that I have initiated here. I'm calling it directly from the SDK. I'm calling the SDK with the function sign up coming from the documentation with email and password. So I put login here, but actually it's sign up. Okay, so I'm going to take sign up instead of login. There we go. I'm going to save, get back. I'm going to update and I'm going to click on sign in. And for now, nothing is happening. However, I'm going to get back to auth and I'm going to reload up, up there. And when I click on reload, there we go. I got my user there. Before going on the email, I'm going to open my console. And up there, I'm going to click on confirm your email. Once I click, I'm redirected directly to my application on localhost 3000. And I got here the user. So we can see we got the access token, we got the refresh token, the token type, and we've got down there the full user. And I'm going to reload and we can see that now, my user is not waiting for any verification. So what we did in this lesson? Well, it's basically really simple to understand. We have a front-end application where we installed Superbase and we are using this SDK of Superbase and we initiated our client, we are credentials, okay? And what we did is just to set up on app.vu or on our main file, the authenticated system that says that if there is no user, we just show login. If there is a user, we show all the other pages. And how do we check this user? By using the on auth state change from coming from Superbase SDK that returns a session to us immediately. So we don't need to set up any token. We don't need to do any uh, auth with a GWT token because everything is already done with the uh, Superbase SDK. So we actually win a lot of time. We save a lot of time by using this SDK. We don't need to work on the authentication system. Superbase is dealing with it and it is recording for us automatically our users.